We are following developing news out of Williamson County. A break in a 40 year old cold case steeped in mystery. A woman found dead wearing nothing but orange socks has finally been identified as Deborah Jackson. Maggie Lohmiller joins us with more on the decades long wait for answers. The victim of the heinous crime now has a name and detectives are working to find out who cut her life short. A mystery unlocked from a sketch to a name. The Williamson County Sheriff's Office cold case unit never gave up on identifying orange socks. Deborah Jackson was a 23 year old aged white female of Abilene, Texas who left home roughly in 1977. In 1979, deputies found a woman's body along I-35 in Georgetown, wearing nothing but a pair of orange socks. During that time, Jackson's family had not seen her for two years. She was not reported missing by the family as she had left home in the past, and it was believed that she had just had not returned home. In 1982, Henry Lee Lucas confessed to her murder, but the account raised several flags. He was convicted, but that decision was later overturned. Throughout the 70s and 80s, missing persons cases were ruled out as possible identification of orange socks, but DNA technology was evolving. In 2017, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office assembled a team to review the county's cold cases. Painstaking hours and meticulous detective work led to today's break in the case. The Williamson County Cold Case Unit issued a new sketch of orange socks. Officials also asked the public to opt in for genealogy databases. This is when the pieces began to fall into place. Now, Deborah Jackson's family can find some comfort. They're very emotional, as you can tell. So um, this is moving forward with them as, as the unit with the family involved with us. Um, hopefully bring some, some peace to them. There are still a number of questions that remain unanswered at this time. The investigation is ongoing. In Georgetown, Maggie Low Miller, Central Texas News Now. Now, anyone who knew Jackson is asked to contact the Williamson County Sheriff's Office Cold Case Unit.